Good evening guys, Vez here. Tonight I'm excited because I got a new package from Mello and it's always exciting when I receive new stuff like that. So I wanted to share with you the excitement. So let's go ahead and unbox this guy and see what's inside the box. So that way you see this at the same time as myself. So let's start with this box. Ooh, okay, I know what this is. This is the new drivers that we, well, that Mellow developed. It's probably um, a newer version than what we have, like the Pro version, where we have a 48 volt support. This one, on the other hand, is 60 volt capable. So that's really awesome. Um, what's different is that um, what they decided to do on this one is that they realized that those drivers, um, well, to do 60 volt, they were also over overheating, but from the bottom. So they added that aluminum plate. And for those who um, are running water cool, like myself, there is a, a plate when uh, we use it on the VZ, but we are four of these because we run all wheel drive. So four of these in line, and then there's gonna be a aluminum plate in the back with water circulating in the aluminum plate, cooling everything. So everything will be cooled um, and it will cool the bottom as well because most of the heat they realize it's coming from the bottom when you run at super high voltage. So what's different? Well, obviously 60 volt, um, but you also realize, uh, that there's a little LCD here, which is pretty cool. Um, from what I saw, it's gonna be able to display some information about uh, temperature, voltage, or SPI, or some kind of information that you, I don't know all the information that will display, but it will display some. So uh, other than displaying stuff, it's just good looking. I, I really like the look of it. But also, if you look at the back, you can see those are addressable RGBs. So <laughs> that's cool. You can you can uh, control them. Uh, I, I think there are two ways that you can control them. You can either control them and enable the lights when the enable pin, when the driver is gonna be enabled, so they're gonna turn on. But you can also uh, control them with a uh, nail pixel pin on, on the motherboard and you can uh, configure the color that you like with that. So that's a cool feature and I think there's a little dip switch right here if you want to use the enable pin you just switch to the right or to the left or vice versa um, it's going to be in the documentation there's also a 12 volt fan port if you want to use air cool and just plug in a, uh, a fan on top of it and you have all your your motor connection here so 60 volt ready um, they look cool <laughs> they can support up to 6 amp at 60 volts, so that's a lot of power that you're gonna be able to put there. And this is the step stick side of it. And this right here is the pin where you're gonna connect your uh, RGB, your nail pixel connection. So there are two pins in there. One is in and the other one is out. So you're gonna daisy chain all four of them or anything you'd like to configure as nail pixel and you can then uh, have multiple of those connected on the same Neo Pixel port. So pretty, pretty cool. Um, I like it. Um, we're gonna have to wait to test them because I don't have the backplate, the aluminum backplate to do the water cooling stuff. So uh, Melo is supposed to ship me that soon. So we'll see soon and I'll be able to test them and see how they perform. So what's next in the box that is useless. Oh, I think I know what this is. Let's see if that is what I'm thinking it is. I think it is. Yes. All right. So this is a long awaited part for um, the VZ extruder. And it is a, a filament runout sensor that will be able to run just on top of the, of the extruder and it's gonna be able to do uh, filament runout, also detection if the filament is grinding or if it's not extruding as much flow as requested. So it's gonna be able to detect that. And here is the adapter plate that will be um, bolted on 
on the Hextruder. So that's how I know there's there are two versions, one for the plus, one for the standard Hextruder version. I'm not too sure which one I got. I'm gonna have to check this myself. But here's the little PCB in the back. And there's supposed to have a a button, yeah, right here. See that button? This button will be to be able to load and unload. Obviously, there are macros associated with them. Um, you can configure your own macro. I know uh, Mellow has worked some, but it's probably going to have to be fine-tuned. So I'm going to have to play with that. And this is um, the retainer, uh, the clip that will go on top to grab onto your PTFE tube. So interesting for those who always wanted to have a filament run out just on top of the extruder. That's going to be that's going to be it. Um, things to note here: it's developed by Mello and not by uh, Visibot team. So Mello has done all the work. So I'm not taking any credit. We don't take credit. It's Mello work. Um, so that is it for that. We're gonna have to test it and see how it goes. But uh, it looks it looks light. Um, I don't know how it's gonna look on the part, but we'll see later. And now the last thing in the box which is also exciting. Let me use the knife. That sounds like aluminum parts, so I'm pretty sure this is what I was expecting, so I know what they are. And it is exactly what I thought it was. So let's take a quick look of all those nice parts. They've been, sorry for the noise, they've been finished with a powder coat. They look very well machined. And these, as you can see, are motor mounts uh, for VZ235. And what is different than the actual mount? Um, the difference is now we're gonna be able to run um, here. I can show you that from here. This gonna allow the motor to run a bearing on top. That's gonna help it if you run high tension, it's gonna help to uh, secure the motor shaft and not have too much tension on the motor bearing. So that is, <clears throat> sorry, that is the, the new stuff coming and we're gonna have to develop the same thing on the VZ330 because this is VZ235. Credits goes to uh, Devin, he's the one that took the CAD files and modified them to be uh, ready for the 235. So it's all his work and it looks absolutely good. Um, obviously, we're going to need a motor with a, a longer shaft to compensate for the added height. So we have that. There's also the Kraken motors that will probably be able to fit right there. But that is just going to be cool for those who run high tension and are worried about um, motor damage from that. So that's going to be that's going to be the solution. So pretty excited about those as well. Um, going to install that on my machine or maybe I'm going to ship them to Devin. So he's the one that developed them so he can he can test it. Uh, I just wanted to show them with you because that is what is coming for the VZ bots. So um, I, I think that's all. There's nothing more in the box. So that is just exciting stuff. I'm excited about the 60 volts. Uh, that's going to be crazy. And uh, yeah, we're going to be able to push more. Not that we exactly needed more, but it's always fun to go further and push more. This is what it's all about. So um, that is it. Thank you for watching. And uh, we're obviously going to make some more videos of those parts in the next uh, future. I don't know when. I'm a little busy right now. But yeah, we're going to going to show you once it's installed and when it's working so stay tuned for that and I'll let you know when those parts are ready for you um, I'll put links somewhere just follow on Facebook discord this is where we get, we are all um, and that was it thank you so much for watching see you on the next one bye bye